What's up, y'all? Um, Josh Dobbs, honored to be in Minnesota. Introduce myself to everyone. Um, tremendous game, like team effort. I know, obviously, the circumstance that I was put in um, was a little abnormal for, for a Sunday in the NFL. I hope Jaron's OK. I hope KJ's OK. I'll be excited to, to hear from them and make sure they're in good spirits. Um, but tremendous team win. You know, offense, we were able to respond. I know it was a little uh, muddy to start. But once we're able to get a rhythm, we're able to go down the field, play really good football. The guys around me, uh, from the O-line to the receivers to the running back, did a tremendous job making plays all day, especially uh, in big situations, some big third downs. Uh, obviously, in the red zone, the two-minute drill, and defense did a tremendous job of having our back as we were getting our feet wet. And then once we got rolling, man, just creating turnovers, giving us the ball in good field position, we were able to execute from there. Special teams, 100% on field goal. So it was a great team effort, team win. I'm excited to be here in Minnesota, man. I'm excited to see what the future holds for us. Can you take us through the, the game-winning touchdown pass? And had you ever even thrown one pass to Brandon Powell before? <laughs> I didn't throw uh, – I think I threw a couple to him in, in pregame warm-ups. So uh, we were able to get on a, um, on a little rhythm. You know, pregame warm-ups, I think I missed him on the throw just because – you know, in my head, the route he was running was different from the route that he, he was running in this offense. So I said, yeah, that's why I threw it like that, you know, because in the game, if something happens, I'm going to throw it and I want to see uh, where you're going to be and make sure we're on the same page. So I'm um, just being able to react, man. Like the communication was awesome. You know, obviously, given the circumstance, ha not having any reps with the guys out there, but the way they were able to respond, communicate to me of how I can be better. I was able to communicate to them what I was seeing. And from there, man, we were just able to go out and play good team football. And so that's what it takes every Sunday to piece together wins in the NFL. And uh, we keep doing that, man. Uh, we'll hit our stride. We'll be all right. Josh, in your previous quick turnaround, you had with teams that you at least had some first-team reps or thrown to the receiver, <laughs> taking snaps from the center, or anything along those lines prior to? Yeah, I had um, last year in Tennessee. Um, so I, we had, per se, a couple first-team reps. We, we put on a Thursday. So um, played Saturday to a Thursday game. So a quick turnaround late in the season, last second to last week of the season. So didn't get a ton of reps, but we at least got you know two walkthroughs, a chance to communicate, get on the same page. This one was you know kind of like learn as you go, hairs on fire, hold on to your seat. Um, but guys were able to respond. You know, obviously being in a similar situation allowed me to be able to you know not be too prideful, communicate when I'm when I'm don't know what's going on, but also tell the coaches, hey, what I need to be successful. And so they were able to respond. It was a, it was a team effort. You know, I think obviously my players, teammates, but also, you know, the coaches just putting together extra time and hours. Obviously, you know, when you're getting a rookie ready to play, a lot of time goes into that. But also, you know, a guy you just traded for, also getting him ready to play. Or hopefully he doesn't play, but also, you know, just in case he does play, putting those extra time and hours into it when you're already putting a lot of hours into it goes a long way. So I appreciate the support I had all week to prepare me um, to be able to make the most of the situation. When the medical people went out to check on Jaron, what's going through your mind? Yeah, you know, I've seen, I've, I've been in, you know, similar situations. First, it was, you know, Jaron, get up. I hope he's okay. Um, but then it was, you know, hey, like if you're playing, you got to go out there and and play. Like team still expects you to go out and win and play good football. You know, it's never, you know, in this league, man, there's there's never an excuse for your circumstance. And I learned that from Coach T. You know, usually, you know, people don't really care about your circumstance. They just want to see you succeed given the circumstance you're given. So. Um, you know, I, I've been in similar situations backing up Ben where, you know, he goes down, but he gets up and you're like, okay, okay, you're good. Like your heart drops for a second, you're warming up, but he comes back out there. But when they said it was uh, your ball, my job was just go out there and play, play good football, the same football I know how to do and been playing all year. So Josh, what's your process there once you find out Jaron is going out? Like what's, what are the first things on your to-do list to get ready to get guys that you haven't played with yet? Yeah, communicate, right? Like talk to you know, the guys who are probably going to be getting the ball, running back, you know, get a couple snaps from the center, um, go through cadence. Because the biggest thing, you know, we don't want to do, and we put, I put one ball on the ground, um, is, you know, give up, you know, cheap penalty, cheap yards, um, give up field position because of um, something that we can control. So I want to be able to get the snap, get the play started. I want to be able to make sure we're not taking any delay of games. The logistic of plays is, is running smooth. And then from there, you know, once you get one completion, it's, you know, getting the first first down, then the second first down. And then from there, it's just, all right, you got this, just go play ball. So uh, there's a lot that goes on during that situation. Um, but, you know, as the guy who's thrust into that position, you know, the mindset is to stay calm in it all. You know, 
the team is looking toward you, whether it's the offense, defense, special teams, whoever it is, they're looking at you, looking how you're taking in the situation. And even when things don't go your way, you still got to respond um, and be a good teammate and be a good quarterback and play good football. So I was able to do that today. Josh, when Kevin. they took the lead, uh, um, you know, they're late. What was your mindset as you all, you know, had an opportunity to go uh, – with your own drop to handle. Yeah, uh, my communication, whether it was a good play or a bad play on the sideline, was the next play. It's all about the next play and take it one play at a time. That's all I was doing, you know, just making sure I knew what play was coming to, to the headset and knew where to start my eyes and, and go from there. So it's all about the next play. It's all about the next play. And that's why I told the O-line. Um, they looked at me and said, what an opportunity to go out and be great. So it was great to have that response for them where we were stepping up to the circumstances that we were given. Um, so it was a team effort a team mindset, a team mentality that we have the ball, you know, we don't care about the circumstance, you know, we're going to go down, put this thing in the end zone and get a win and get back to Minnesota. Kevin said that his voice was hoarse because he was talking to you so much <laughs> before the snap. What was that communication? There was like? a, if you could hear the headset, there was a lot going on, a lot of jumbleness as I'm communicating, he's communicating to me. Uh, we had a lot going on. We had a lot going on, but it's great. Obviously, Kevin played quarterback, so he knows what I'm going through. So he's able to communicate effectively, like, hey, like this is where you're, what you're looking at. This is what you have on this side of the page. This is what you have on this side of the page. He's able, you know, talking lingos that I've come from to be able to simplify it for me. And uh, then from there, obviously, it's just go out and play. But, you know, I thought the communication was awesome. You know, starting with CO, uh, sorry, starting with Chris. I had a past coach named Chris O'Hare, and we called him CO. So not this one, but starting with Chris on the sideline, but then with Kevin, and then, um, and then to me, on the field, you know, the communication was awesome and it put me in a position to succeed. So he's in the headset, is he like translating in real time? This is stuff that you have from other systems? <clears throat> per se, yeah, you know, it's, 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 it's like if you were taking Spanish all year um, and you showed up and uh, Wednesday, someone told you, you got, you're taking AP Spanish and someone told you you have an AP French exam on Sunday um, and you got to go like execute, you know, someone's going to talk to you in, in Spanish and translate it to the French. So that's kind of like what was going on out there. Um, it was, it was, it was, there was a lot of communication, but I'm able to process a lot of information um, and be able to react on it and not let it hand ha handcuff myself and my play. And so um, it was good. It was good to be able to um, hear what he was saying and as I'm processing what the defense is giving me and then go out and still play good football. Josh, you had so many wild scrambles today. I know they probably run together for you, but that fourth down on the last drive, just talk about how close you were and what you did to keep running and keep that drive alive. Yeah, you know, they, they popped a two-man on us. Um, they had great coverage in the back end. You know, obviously, we saw it all day. I'm able to use my feet as a weapon. And so I really, you know, for a second, I thought I was going to score once I got the first down. I thought it was probably smart, you know, step out of bounds, you know, save a timeout and everything. But, you know, that's a got to have a situation. You know, whatever it takes to get the first down, um, whether it's, you know, throwing a short guy laying out, um, whether it's a contested catch down the field or at the end of the day using your feet to make something happen, that's what you have to do in those situations to keep the chains moving and give the team a chance to win. Josh, with how crazy today was, just when that ball hits the ground and the game's over, like, What's going through your head? Uh, relief. That's probably the biggest thing. You know, just relief. We got the win. Um, relief. We're able to overcome my first couple of drives and get the team win. That's the biggest thing. You know, a couple of players were, were, you know, dapping me up, celebrating. I said, you know, just give me these five seconds just to make sure they don't get in field goal range or throw a Hail Mary or anything because we've seen crazy things happen on Sundays. Um, but then excitement, you know, excitement to get the team win, excitement to get a win, you know, given the circumstances and excitement for the future. So I'm excited to see how we continue to build off this. We got a home game next week in Minnesota, so we'll enjoy it. Um, and it's cheers to the next one. You got time for a few more, so it sounds silly, but like how many people you like today? Oh, don't even start. I probably, <laughs> um, if, if we had to pull up a roster, I had to go names. Um, I'll be I'll be a bad teammate today. <laughs> yeah, I know knew Alex. I knew a lot of first names. Alex, Brandon. Um, I know like a lot of nicknames per se. Uh, but yeah, names names. That's a uh, that's that's for this week. That's an assignment for this week. So. I had him in um, in Tennessee last year. He was my QB coach there, and so I spent a lot of time with them. Obviously, him, obviously on a, on a short week. So.
So you said no first name. Did you know Brandon Powell's last name before that touchdown? Yeah, I did. I didn't know because he went to Florida, so I got a little beef with him because he's a, he's a Florida guy. I'm a Tennessee guy, but I told him I like him today. You know, today today we're on the same side, so it's all good. Justin, I, that touchdown play to him, had you, like, studied that play? Was that play in the playbook, or was that literally just on the fly? That no, that play was in the playbook. It was in our red zone install for this week. That was my first time repping the play, but uh, it was in the game plan. You know, I told um, the coaches, I said, they were asking me, you know, my comfort level with everything in the playbook and how I felt before the game leading up if something were to happen. I said, you know, anything on this call sheet that we installed this week, I got it. Like I can run it, I got it. Whether it's no huddle, um, whether it's tempo, whether it's you know, a game plan call, whatever it is, I got it. Now you start pulling stuff from OTA one and two, I might be a little handcuffed out there, but if you put it on the call sheet, I got it. And so that was one of our red zone plays. We were able to take advantage of the look the defense was giving, and he did a great great job getting open for me. I'll ask a question on this one. About, about names you do know. Did you have time this week to line up tickets for friends and family? I did. I did. You know, I'm from Alpharetta, so just 30 minutes up the road from here. Depends on the day with Atlanta traffic, but not too far. Um, so I got my, my fam in town. Um, they were back home. My parents, I went to dinner with them last night. They said, you know, it's weird. We're not waking up at your house in, in Arizona. We just woke up at our house and came down to visit you. So I do have a lot of people in town from old coaches to uh, my family. And so it was great. Obviously, I don't know where they were. I saw my parents in the crowd, but I'm not sure where everyone else was. But, you know, obviously being back home, man, like being on this field, I grew up watching the Falcons play ball in the Mike Vick era and the Matt Ryan era. So to be here on this field, man, and um, have a game like that m means a lot to me. So um, I'll enjoy it, but, you know, it's, it's on to the next one uh, once Tuesday hits and, and we're right back to work. How many tickets? How many tickets? Not too many. I, t I told him, I was just like, I, luckily I got, you know, financial advisors in town, some friends in town that have uh, some strings they can pull. So they didn't, they didn't hurt my pockets too much on the tickets. So awesome. Appreciate y'all. No doubt.